the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Friday's Feast. Today, I'm really excited because I got to show you something. Went out, bought a little George Foreman. That's what's up. Uh, I, I don't think it's a George Foreman. It might be a Weber. I don't know. But we're about to, uh, yeah, we're about to chef it up. So I got to go set that up really quick. Um, let me see. There we go. So... I'll show you guys what we got on the menu today as soon as I get the grill set up. Matter of fact, I'll just show you right now. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. So bear with me. Bear with me. So, got some white and dark premium chicken meat by Swanson. I got some almond tortillas, right? I got some partially refrigerated monster cheese. The re reason why I say partially refrigerated is because I don't have a power inverter. And my ice pack is not frozen anymore so it's kind of like somewhat cold i got some goya hot sauce right i got some heat and eat garlic and olive oil rice right 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 i got some fruit punch times two i got my tumbler that got some water in it because i need that for the rice and uh where is it Got my McCormick roasted garlic and herb seasoning. I got a grill lighter because I don't trust that thing to light on its own. And uh, I got to go inside, grab my propane. Got my propane. And uh, I got my frying pan. That. As you can see, I'm a I'm a bug expert, and I got my my fork and my plate, and uh, got some paper towels, and we're about to get it going. So, uh, what I want to do first is I want to set up the grill. Obviously, uh, the reason why I'm not doing this inside the truck is it's, it's kind of dangerous. So, um, and I probably only do that in the winter time when it's not so beautiful outside uh the weather right now is uh i think 76 degrees i am on the side of the highway got, got the legs locked uh yeah so i put this thing together yesterday i was gonna do a video yesterday but uh i wasn't having that great of a day so so i'm gonna set this up and then my power inverter crapped the bed on me today. So couldn't even make a cup of coffee in the truck. That was exciting, you know? So wanna make sure that's nice and snug on there. No problemo. I'm gonna open this up. Cause gotta put that on. Oh, the gas was still on. So, I'm going to grab my lighter and uh, start the fire. Matter of fact, I'm moving closer. I don't know why I'm so far. There we go. Yep, got some heat. So I'm gonna put the lid on that. As soon as I figure out like a like a cooler situation, um, what I'm gonna do is 
I'm gonna make be making steaks and fresh chicken and burgers and all of that good stuff. So uh, I've never had the canned chicken before, not like this anyway. So what I'm gonna do, um, this pan is just a little bit dirty from yesterday, but not that big of a deal. So what I'll do is I'll get some paper towel, voila. Use the uh, textured side, like the not so smooth side. I don't know which side that would be. I would say the side with the bumps protruding out. Get some water. Uh, you know what? What I'll do is I'll heat the pan first because that should loosen up everything. But I made some really good food yesterday. Since the wind is blowing from this way, what I'll do is I'll cover it in that way. Get it nice and hot. No big deal, right? And then I'll get some water, put it on the paper towel. I got my scrub brush in there, but I don't I don't really see a need to clean it like that. So I just pulled over for my half an hour break. And uh, yeah. My hands are a little dirty. I got some Clorox wipes in the truck. I might as well go grab those. Shame in my game, right? Put that there, you don't want a litter. Nice little breeze. Yeah, look at all that dirt that just came off my hands. No problem, because I'm not serving anybody but me. And that's okay. All right, so we're gonna take our rice aroni. And I got my fork over there. So I'm going to put the rice aroni in the pan. And I said add about two tablespoons of water. Yesterday I added too much water and it didn't come out too good. But I still ate it because I was starving. All right. I'll put that in the trash inside. Now, you can hear that. I don't want any of that chicken juice in my, uh, in my food. So, I'm gonna crack it open just a little bit. And we're gonna peel it back just a little bit to allow for air to come in as the liquid is escaping. I'm going to pour this in the ravine. Yeah, I don't want none of that. Yeah, I've never had chicken in the can before, so... Let's see how it goes. So now I drain the juice out. I'm gonna go stir up that rice. I should mention that you should probably, ow, that adhesive is really hot. I should mention that you should do this with a non-stick utensil or a plastic, but you know I got time for that. Woo! 
There we go. And what's really cool about that thing is that it cools off super quick. Like, you know, once once I was done eating yesterday, yeah, once I was done eating yesterday, it was like no time at all before it cooled down. So, but yeah, let me give you guys a quick look around. We're out in New Hampshire right now. This is the load I got. This is going down to East Haven. That's the road I just came in off of. But yeah, pretty soon I want to start cooking some like fresh chicken and steak and stuff like that. There's actually some mountains over there too. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it is beautiful out here. And uh, I think the White Mountains are back that way, so. But yeah, this is a nice little setup I got here. Nice little pull off. You know, I had to stop off, take my half an hour break anyway. I didn't want to take it when the sun was going down, so. We're gonna go check on that rice. Grab my fork. that uncovered so I could grab the chicken and that's what it looks like looks pretty good if you ask me uh, but I opted for white and dark meat um, yeah I guess if you do all white meat you know not not bad but you know dark meat definitely has more more flavor So I'm gonna put that in there, shake that out. I'm gonna add some water to this, um, only because I don't want that stinking, stinking up my cab because I haven't seen a trash can yet. So. I can hear some type of wildlife out here. Um, there were signs all all up and down this road for like it said uh, uh, moose uh, or yeah it said moose stay alert that's what it said so I'm gonna add a couple shakes of this. Nothing's really coming out though because it's still a fresh bottle, so you gotta spank it, you know what I'm saying? Just spank it just a little, little, little bit. And ah, my fork is hot because I left it. Ugh. All right, I'll leave that there, let it get, uh, let it warm up. And then when it's almost done, I'm going to warm up the tortillas. Uh, I picked up these almond tortillas, which was pretty interesting. I had them yesterday. I was so hungry. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even taste the almonds, but it's pretty good so far. 
My Capri Suns aren't even cold, but I don't even care. Okay, here's some sizzling and some crackling in there. I'm gonna go check on it. Oh, yeah. All right, so I know for sure, for sure, this is coming up to temp. So while that's doing that, I don't want to give it no momentum to slide at all. I'm going to leave that uncovered because what I want to do is I want to warm up the tortillas uh, directly on the grill. So memory serves me correctly, I was able to fit two tortillas next to the pan. Like so. Uno, dos. Slide that right there. Give those a couple seconds on each side. I'm going to close this up. Once I flip it, I'm going to put the cheese on it. Throw some, throw some cheese on it. Mm. Rich boy selling. All them haters want to check. Type no flex. Just bought a Cadillac. Throw some, throw some cheese on it. All right. So now we're going to get our partially refrigerated monster cheese. Hopefully it doesn't give us the Bee Gees. And, uh... Yeah, once I flip it, we'll put the cheese on and then uh, we'll get the rest of the stuff on. But I'll have to bring the plate over there. And uh, we garnish it with some hot sauce right after. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Ah! Run around screaming, Gaika, Gaika! Mm -hmm. So I lay that on there like, like so. And I gotta grab another slice, like a so. And these got like little wax papers on the back, so that's what's up. Mm. Ah. I'm gonna take this. Put it on the passenger seat. Get my plate ready. Put the trash with the trash. Put these tortillas back because whatever's left, I'm gonna just eat it. So these tortillas are starting to get a little brown on the edges. No problem. So I'm going to slide that. Take that. Slide that like a so. I really hope I don't get scooped up by a hawk. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to turn this burner off. This is how it looks. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it. Take that, scoop it. I mean, this is a lot for just two tortillas, but it's all I got time for. Something tells me I should put this bottle of hot sauce right here to weigh it down on that side. Because if I lose all this, I'm going to be upset and y'all aren't going to get a video. So, scoop some more protein right there. Put the pan to the side. Let it cool off. Put my 
seasoning in the cab. Put the lighter in the cab. Always shake up your hot sauce. Put a generous amount or to taste. And then enjoy. So my taste buds have been a little off lately. So if I make a grossed out face, please forgive me. Put that right there. Make sure you guys put it on the Mmm. So these are almond. This is what was it? Uh garlic and olive oil rice with chicken, monster cheese, and almond tortillas. Let's get it. Still really, really hot. Cheese is melted. Mm-hmm. So like I said, my taste buds have been messing with me, but I think if I was enjoying this before, I would enjoy it a lot more, like before COVID. Mm. And that's only one slice of cheese. So these almond tortillas have a like a little bit of a of a different snap to them, if that makes any sense. Kind of like an almond. Chicken isn't bad. Second and last one's going down. The rest I'll save for later because I got to pack up and get going. Mm. When you haven't eaten since breakfast and not for nothing, I had some breakfast pizza today, so that was pretty good. I can really taste the monster cheese on this one. Last big bite. Mm-hmm. So, I plan on bringing you guys some better cooking videos. 
but this is just something sim simple, quick. Probably about 10 minutes prep, 20 minutes to heat. I don't have a microwave. I have no other way to heat it up, but not bad. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Friday Seas. I'm your host, Big Mike, and this was your uh, garlic olive oil with chicken, tortillas, or burritos, tacos, tacos. And this was my version of almond tacos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.